My name is James Francis. Thank you very much for joining us. This is the Adobe Mini Max seminar. We're going to unlock the future of creativity with AI and Adobe. This is brought to you by IT Web, DAX Data, as well as Adobe. But for now, first, let's go and have a look at these tools and what they can do, because Adobe has always set the standard in the creative industry for tools that help people achieve more. AI is allowing them now to achieve a lot, lot, lot more. So we're going to find out more about that. Now, I have a ton to talk about. So I'm just going to quickly jump into my presentation and show you guys what it's all about. So Substance is used in basically any industry where 3D visualization or 3D in general is just core to that specific industry. So think about architecture. Think about any type of product visualization, product design, product development, and then basically any company that does anything in retail. 3D can have and does have a massive impact, just so you know. And that's exactly where Substance comes in. So Substance basically specializes in 3D materials, which means that the whole sculpting of the 3D object might or might not have been created using Substance. There's a ton of software out there that does that. But applying the actual materials, creating these hyper-realistic materials, that is where and how Substance is being used. I go to stock. I can just look for, in this case, food patterns. You hover over the one you want, and you would then click the license, and it just says it's included in your plan, okay? You just pick whatever you want. And the cool thing is, once you found the image you're looking for, you save that into a Creative Cloud library, which is a cool thing because it's an Adobe product, and that element is gonna come out on the other end in InDesign. So I don't have to save anything locally, and it's just a matter of just drag and dropping in InDesign. The free request e-signature is available. It's even available in the reader, but you've got limited amounts. So in the free reader, you only get two requests per month. And in the standard or professional version, it is unlimited. You're just capped at how many people you can include in that particular workflow. All the documents, once they have been signed together with their audit trails, are stored in your document cloud repository but you do have the ability to go in there and download them. It's very exciting stuff happening here. I mean, at the very least, go on to Creative Cloud, take a month's subscription, play around with these toys. There are other great ones, ones that we didn't touch on today. Thank you for joining us today on this Thursday for this webinar. Please have a great afternoon and we'll see you at the next one. Thank you. Goodbye.